Good morning. All we're working on today is the trailer. Um, as you can see, I got the boat completely uncovered and, and in the sun. The epoxy is set up real nicely, but it still has a very slight tack to it and it's a little soft. I need that to fully harden up before I can paint it. So probably going to be at least until tomorrow before I can shoot it with paint. And I want to get that bottom painted before I flip it over. So we're going to let that soak in the sun. What we did today is we added this front bar across the front of the trailer here to give the ends of the bunk some support before the support stopped right here. And with that overhang going out to there, it was sort of more of like a diving board than a trailer bunk. So I just welded that angle iron in and made a couple little brackets to hold it up. And then got the bunks off. I'll carpet them tomorrow. I got the carpeting in the back of the truck. And then we'll screw them back on and then the trailer will be ready for the boat. I probably will still have to do some modifications and adjustments to the winch stand up in the front. But that I can do after the boat's on the trailer. Uh, I measured it out and it's exactly 16 feet from that roller on the winch stand to where the back of the trailer is. So this boat's going to fit completely on the trailer so I have a little bit of leeway to screw around with the uh, winch stand. So that's all I have for today. Oh, in case you want to see. You can see how nice and glossy the boat is on top here. And that's where I put on that coat of resin to fill in the weave on the boat. Uh, it's not necessary. It's more if you want that nice smooth look. I did it on the bottom of the boat because when it's going through the water, it goes a lot better if the bottom is perfectly smooth. I didn't do it so much on the sides. Just any coating I added to the sides was just due to uh, resin that ran out of the reinforcing strip that I ran around the corners here. And I just rolled that out to smooth it out. It's lab. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but there's some drip marks that you can kind of see along the back edge here. But at least they're not ridiculously proud looking. There's more weak looking little stripes. So being that it's a duck boat, I really don't care if it doesn't look real pretty. Uh, I throw some camel, paint, camel stripes on the side. It's going to not even be noticeable. So that's where we're at with this guy. We will see you tomorrow when I start carpeting bunks and hopefully shoot a coat of paint on the boat after I give her a light sanding. Well, the trailer bunks are done. I had one minor issue. I didn't measure properly and I had the two front supports a hair high. So I ended up having a gap underneath the two middle supports. So I just put a couple of wood shims in there to uh, level it back out so we're good there now. The boat, the whole outside has been sanded, uh, shot it, or didn't shoot it, rolled it with the first layer of uh, primer which wasn't the greatest idea in the world especially unthinned so it didn't come out great. Uh, sanded it down, went out and got some thinner for it and got a cheap spray gun so I don't plug up my good spray gun. And we're going to, uh, when the wind dies down, hopefully in a couple hours, we will shoot it with a full coating of uh, primer over the entire outside. Maybe even get a second coat on right away. And then tomorrow we'll look at shooting it with uh, paint. So we're on about half a day behind on where I was planning on with this. But it's not too bad. Uh, that's all I got for now. Later.